Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to clean the mass airflow sensor on this Mini Cooper S from 2011. And together with the mass airflow sensor, I'm going to present you the air temperature sensor, which is actually working together with the mass airflow sensor all the time. Today I'm going to show you how to test this because they are very important, especially on these turbocharged engines where temperature of the air is very, very important. With a T30, remove this bolt which holds the mass airflow sensor on the air filter housing. The second bolt is on the other side and remove it. It's a four wire connector, which means that the mass airflow sensor is separate from the intake air temperature sensor. Most of the time on newer cars, especially you're going to get a six wire connector just because the intake air temperature sensor is also integrated into this unit. But since this car has a turbocharged engine, so it's important to put the sensor after the air gets through the turbo because this turbo is very hot as you might know and the air might not be the same as it is when it goes into the engine with a seven millimeter socket undo this hose clamp and now you're going to be able to remove the intake hose and wiggle out the mass airflow sensor the air comes through this side and you've got these little squares which will even out the flow of the air so the readings will be accurate because otherwise you might get a strong current on the side and in the middle it's going to be less air therefore more air goes into the engine unmeasured so it's important to have this screen on the front i've seen many people especially with these turbocharged engines removing this thinking that they will allow more air to go into the engine but in reality you're going to lean out the engine the engine will run with more air than necessary so you basically get less power it's not going to be significantly but in long term it will affect the engine so check out for this screen it has to be there and i don't know if you can see inside there but this is not a hot film like a regular mass airflow sensor with a hot film inside this is a vortex mass airflow sensor which means that it will allow a little bit of air to travel through a hole on that plastic assembly but on the other side so basically similar like here you allow the air to go through this little channel and the air will travel up and up there you can see there is the measurement sensor which will see and sense basically how much disturbance of the air is happening and that's how it calculates the airflow these mass airflow sensors can get dirty and dirt will always obstruct the precise readings of the mass airflow sensor so for that go ahead and use a mass airflow sensor cleaner do not use like a brake cleaner because it might leave a layer on the sensitive area and therefore the precise reading is going to be gone so use this one is the best you gotta spray it from this side and from the other side as well that's pretty much it let it dry now the sensor is dry i'm going to install it back we've got here a t20 there is just one screw easy to remove wiggle the sensor out and down there we can see that green little bulb that's the sensor which reads the temperature you can see this one is covered in oil it's not going to affect a lot the readings but definitely they will not be precise as they should and some of you guys ask me why there is always oil on this side as you can see you've got here the breathing hose which basically has connection with the camshaft case with this valve cover case and here oil goes splashing around therefore some of the oil will go in this side and it will be transferred into the intake and that, that's how the oil travels so if for example you place too much oil into the engine this oil this extra excessive oil will go into the intake and it will basically spray around the intake manifold all the way to the throttle body and that's why it's important to put the exact amount of oil necessary do not overcome the limit because otherwise the oil will go in the places where you're gonna remove them very hard and it will take time if the oil for example sets on the throttle body flap there is going to be some little particles which will travel through the air filter and it will go through turbo turbocharger and it will deposit on the oil and that's how you get a lot of this black clog which basically is dirt burnt in oil and 
and of course some carbon build up from this crankcase ventilation so you got to take care of these things and you can see it's not easy to make a video only about one sensor because all of the sensors are interconnected so once you start talking about one sensor you got to take care of all the sensors on the engine because it's not possible to run the engine efficiently with let's say five from six sensors if one is bad if one is bad something is going to go wrong so you got to take care of all sensors and it's not about replacing them most of the time you don't need to replace any sensor because the sensors are good but it might be the connection the wiring as you could see on this coil pack one wire get ripped off and it's easy to diagnose it like oh replace the coil pack but it's not the coil pack it's the wire so you should test the wire first you know what i mean so this is this is for you guys like you gotta take care of the engine you gotta learn how to diagnose properly because replacing parts is not going to help you all right let's unplug this connector all right so let's see how much black oil comes out from this sensor Uh, it's pretty hard to see but there was some oil on it and now it's much cleaner so from this point you can go ahead and install back the sensors and start the car see if there is any difference any improvement if not you got to go ahead and do some tests and i'm going to show you what tests you can do on this mass airflow sensor and the intake air temperature sensor first you got to turn the key in the second position on this car you place the key in this support first this is the first position and then you press one time on the start engine button just like that now it's on the second position on the connector from the mass airflow sensor you're gonna find the 12 volt supply which is this white and red wire you gotta have 12 volts on there and you've got 12 volts and then the ground is common for the signal wire and the reference wire so on the signal wire you're not going to find anything because it's not connected yet to the mass airflow sensor but the reference wire the one which delivers 5 volts you're going to see 5 volts so this is a good sign that the connector works so how can you distinguish between the signal wire and the ground because they can be confusing right like first of all you can see the thickness of these wires the white and the green one are more thicker compared to the yellow and the blue one i don't know if you can see it in the video but they are obviously more thicker so that's one sign that you've got the 12 volt supply and the main ground the main negative wire and usually the signal wires are are uh, more colorful like i've seen red i've seen uh, yellow like this one and it can be also pink or like with double colors usually the 12 volt supply and the ground has just one color i mean not usually all the time all the time the ground and the 12 volt supply have only one color and that's how you can easily distinguish them now let's see on the intake air temperature sensor so actually i discovered that this is also an air pressure sensor and that's why we've got four wires we've got signal that's the good sign you can do this with a voltmeter You've got all these 5 volt signals from all the three wires. For the following tests, you're gonna need a scan tool, which has to be connected on the OBD2 port on this side. And we've got here the intake air temperature, which is 17 degrees Celsius. If I blow on it, the temperature should increase. And you can see you've got 23 degrees Celsius. So basically, I can increase this to my body temperature. Which Unfortunately, on this can tool, I cannot see the barometric pressure. Now, in order to read the mass airflow rate, you're going to need this scan tool or whatever scan tool you have or an oscilloscope, which will allow you to access the frequency which is sended through the signal wire. You cannot do this with a voltmeter. So for that, you got to start the car and I'm going to show you how the voltmeter is going to react on the signal wire right you can see we've got the signal it's around 6.9 grams per second now i'm going to connect my voltmeter we've got around 2.4 and if i increase the rpm this is going to go a little bit up and down not more so let's see 
So yes guys, that was pretty much it. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And if you want to see more car repair videos from this mini coupe, there is going to be a link in the description below with a playlist. And until next time, drive safe so I can see you in the next video.